Yeah. 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 Let's get her done. Let's get it done. What's the power of the Lord? You have power of the word, though. Yeah. Yeah. Police say, oh, I gotta go. <laughs> Let's go back. Let's step on the grass, bro, so he can walk me down. Hey, what you recording, Eddie, bro? Hallelujah. All right, let's get it done, man. Jeremiah chapter 6, start around verse 10. Let's get it done. The heathen wanted to know what we were doing out here. We out here to warn our people to turn back from their wickedness and to repent keep the commandments of the living God. Even the, the top deceiver on the planet, the devil, and he claimed he was a Scot. He's not a Scot. The original Scots were dark skinned black folk. And we got plenty of archaeology on that. That's, that's easy work. King James VI, he was the sixth king of Scotland. Mm. Scot means dark skinned or black man. Mm. Ish means man. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Ish. So anyway, anyway, you dig, we are the people on the book, no matter how you try to play it, so-called white man don't have a heritage. He steals everybody's heritage. Whether you want to talk about the English, the Scots, the Israelites, the Arabs, he's everything today. Anyway, let's get into the scripture though. Jeremiah chapter 6. 6 and 10. Let's start around verse 10. Just uh, read, read on down like 22, brother. All right. Well, that devil heard he was coming into captivity. Uh, <laughs> like, oh, praise to the God of Abraham, <laughs> Isaac, and Jacob on this Shabbat Shalom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 10. Yeah. Shall I speak and give warning that they may hear? See, the Lord, this is a question, right? The Lord is asking through his prophet Jeremiah, who am I going to tell this message to so people can hear? Because the Lord, contrary to popular belief, brings a warning. Before he destroys any society, he brings a warning. Come on, brother. Behold, their ear is uncircumcised. Their what? Their ear is uncircumcised. I mean, you don't have a mind to hear this Bible anymore. The Negro feels he's figured it out already. So what we doing today seems foolish to you people out here. But their ears are uncircumcised. Come on, brother. And they cannot hearken. Uh -huh. Behold, the word of the Lord is unto them a reproach. See, the word of the Lord is unto our people a reproach today, man. Our people do not want to hear the Bible in its true essence and its true form. And then when we come up and speak the truth, it, it gets considered hate speech. You feel me? Truth is the new hate speech. You come out and tell the truth and you speak it boldly, like you don't care if you die or not, now you're a terrorist. It's hate speech now. Let's read, huh? They have no delight in it. You don't got no delight in the word of God. The Negro feels he's figured it out. Meanwhile, he getting gunned down in the ghetto by this devil. But he's figured it out though. Meanwhile, the devil just pulled up. What? Devil just mean deceiver, y'all. Get out your feelings. Deceiver. A deceiver pull up smiling. Guess what? Don't know a lick about the scriptures, man. <laughs> Don't know a lick. Hey, hey, you're going into slavery when you're done talking for the crimes and the atrocities done to this people. We're all in the Bible. Let's read, huh? Verse 11. Therefore, I am full of the fury of the Lord. Yeah. I am weary uh -huh. with holding in. See what Jeremiah said? I'm tired of holding back and holding my tongue for you stiff necked Negroes, man. Tired of it. Tired of it. How long will you love simplicity? 
How long are you gonna believe this is a white man's book? How long are you gonna believe America gonna last forever? Jeremiah said, I ain't got to the point where I'm tired of holding back. Yeah. Tired of tiptoeing with you Negroes. Either you gonna get it or get put in the grave. Let's read, huh? I will pour it out upon the children abroad and upon the assembly of young men together. For even the husband with the wife shall be taken. See what the Lord say? So when the Lord is in the judgment, it don't matter if you a woman. It don't matter if you a husband. It don't matter if you a child. You better reread your scriptures. When the Lord is in the judgment, nobody's exempt. Nobody's exempt. That's why if we have to raise our children and order our households right now. According to this word right here, because when the Lord is in the judgment, he wiping everything flat. He ain't even tripping off your feelings, what you feel, what you think. The Bible has nothing to do with a Negro's opinion. Uh, let's read, huh? For even the husband with the wife shall be taken, the aged with him that is full of days. Come on. And their houses shall be turned unto others. With their fields and wives together. So you trip off that. With our fields and our woman. Our woman been given. Our woman would rather run around with an Arab or an Edomite. You feel me? They have no respect for their men. Our land has been given to another. You feel me? We have no land, no heritage, no culture. Why? Because we went against our Lord. And the Lord said, you know what? I'm going to send the worst of the devil on you. I'm going to send the worst of the heathen on you. Because you keep rebelling. Right. So that's the moral of the story. Even though we teach the white man going down. The Arabs going down. I, even though we teach that, our main focus is to wake up Israel, man. Israel. Y'all need to repent. We need to repent and it's, get better every day, man. Come on, bro. See, you can't blame the white man for our condition because it was our fault first. No doubt. So we can never look to him and tell him, this is what you did to me. The Lord said, I'm going to do this to you because of our disobedience. Exactly. Exactly. So keep focused. Again, they're going down. Again, they overstepped their boundary in dealing with us. Being that we the Lord's people, it's, it's laws in the Bible on how you how you deal with your servants. But it's according to the scripture. All the Emmett Teals and the Mike Browns and the Thaddeus McCurrens and, and uh, Freddie Gray, all that's you overstepping your boundary. And the Lord gonna come holler at you for that because you've been slaying God's people. So we warned the heathen about that and our job ain't to make you feel comfortable. I'm not here to make a heathen feel comfortable. We're going to remind you of your wickedness that you've done and that judgment is coming. And we're going to warn our people as well. You better repent before the Lord puts you in the grave. That's, That's right. Period. That's right. So people don't like it because we call it straight across the board. We'll shoot across the board. We're, we'll get on the little gangbanger for gangbanging and selling drugs. And we'll get on the white man for doing what he done to us. We'll get on the woman for doing being the way she is with us. We call it straight across the board. People get mad. But it is what it is. The word of God is the Bible. Oh, the New Testament in back, and it speaks of the 12 tribes of Israel. That's who we are as a people. And that's what we're here to teach. Christ is on his way to bring a kingdom. And he's coming to conquer this earth. You won't vote for him. You won't say, oh, well, I think I'm going to worship Buddha today. No. So he's coming to establish a righteous dictatorship. Get down or lay down. Let's keep reading, brother. Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 12. Yeah. And their houses shall be turned unto others. See, that has happened to us. You ask the Matt Negro today who he is, he tell you he's a color out of crayon box. Black. Say, okay, where's black land? He doesn't know. What, what language does black speak? He doesn't know. Uh, uh, what God did black worship? He doesn't know. The gods of Egypt. What land does black come from? You don't even know your nationality, your heritage, your culture. It sounds like you're the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Everybody else knows who they are. Except who? Us. Black man. Ask you who you are, you say, I'm African-American. Those are two continents. What nation are you? Well, I'm black. That's a color out of crayon box. The Bible call you the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Same tribe Jesus Christ was from. Same tribe, Mo same nation Moses was from. All the great men in the Bible were Hebrew Israelites. That's right. Your forefathers. Your forefathers. Bloodline. Not, not Jaime Weinstein in the Middle East claiming he a Jew. Those are not Jews. The yeah. Jews in the Bible are you. You the Jews, on slave ships, sold off auction blocks, that's Deuteronomy 28. Yep. Huh? Single parent households, black on black crime, all that's in the Bible. Of what would happen to the children of Israel for going against their God. That's right. Now how do you go against your God? You still thinking bunnies lay eggs for Easter? That's not in the Bible. You still thinking Jesus was born on December 25th? That's not in the Bible. You're worshiping other gods. 
So to get, which keeps you in violation of what? Commandment number one. Have no other gods before me. That's right. Let's read, brother. Finish reading. Verse 12. Yes, sir. And their houses shall be turned unto others uh -huh. with their fields and their wives together. Yeah. For I will stretch out my hand upon the inhabitants of the land, saith the Lord. So it's the Lord that brought these judgments on us. It, it, it wasn't no white boy that canoed down the west coast of Africa and said, oh, look at his back right there. He looks strong. No, the white boy and the Arabs and the Africans got together and said, we got to go sell these people right here. Why? Because if you're going to build an empire, you need the, the greatest men on the planet. To build it. To build it. Let's read, brother. Verse 13. Yeah. For from the least of them, even unto the greatest of them, uh -huh. every one is given to covetousness. See what the Lord talk about, how he talk about us? We all given to covetousness. Commandment 10, thou shalt not covet. Huh? We given to covetousness, meaning what? Greed. Huh? The eye is never satisfied with seeing. The ear is never satisfied with hearing. So a man pull up with something, you want what he got. A woman pull up with something, you want what she got. Everybody giving to covetousness, violation of commandment number 10. You lusting after things that don't belong to you. Yeah. This is a problem Israel has. Who is Israel? Us. We are Israel. Let's read, brother. And from the prophet, even unto the priest. That means even your preachers. Huh? Al sharp tongue. Never seen him with a Bible, though. Yeah, huh? Everybody dealing falsely. Yeah, Everybody giving the cut. The he come, he come into town. He play off your emotions. He take your money. Right, he get a check written, and guess what? Calm you down, and he and he get right on about the town. Meanwhile, crack sales up in the ghetto. He ain't here to help you. Let's read, huh? And from the prophet even unto the priest, yeah. everyone dealeth falsely. They all dealing falsely because if they were telling you the truth, they'd have told you it's free and told you this is what you need to do to reverse your condition. That's right. They didn't came out here and played with you and offered you a house. No, this is what Israel need to do to get back to their God. Because God is coming to bring judgment. Christ is not about to